Liddington Castle, July 20th, 2009. Like other circles, it's at the foot of a very steep hill, which might have something to do with building up a ground charge as the water from a heavy night's rain trickles down the hill and into the field. The water runs through the ground soil into the chalk aquifer and creates an electrical ground charge. That could be one of the ways they're making these circles. And by they, of course, I'm not talking about twats with boards. As we started to accrue larger amounts of data, the computers were set to task on correlations. There were two. Two primary correlations. One was water, and that the water being underground in the aquifers, in the, in the carbonaceous geostructure of central southern England. So that captured 90% immediately. 90% are sat on huge volumes of water. Of all of the non-man-made crop circles that we've looked at here in the United States, 99% of the cases, they come down near some body of water. Creek, pond, drainage ditch, river, right over the top of an aquifer. The third uh, circumstance is that they're coming down in very close proximity to power lines. The fourth component that we see is that in about 65% of the cases here in the United States, the crop circles are coming down in very close proximity to Native American mounds or earthwork sites. Right across uh, this valley on the other side of that road down there is where the crop circle occurred in August of 2003 here in Locust Grove, Ohio. The crop circle that came down near Serpent Mound back in August of 2003 was aligned on its major axis with Serpent Mound, uh, which was a couple of thousand feet away. It went right through the head of the serpent. Now, Serpent Mound is an ancient mound site which has a lot of astronomical alignment information sort of encoded into it. But the crop circle did occur after a severe weather front had passed through the area. In fact, the weather was so severe that the storm knocked out power to several power companies in the area. And you were telling me, Jeff, that this, is, this area, the mound area where we, we are right now, gets hit by lightning quite a lot. Yes, many of the trees up here uh, in the park have been hit by lightning. Uh, the, the, the site just seems to attract it. Um, also, uh, interestingly enough, in the distance, that, that uh, horizon line, the top of that hillside up there, that's actually the rim of a meteorite crater. Uh, that a meteorite impacted here uh, 200 million years ago or so, and it created a five mile wide uh, crater which fractured the rock uh, across, across this whole distance. And so that's the southwestern rim of the crater. We're now sort of standing up here on the uplift in the center part of the crater, but the crater then extends uh, four miles in that direction. Uh, so it's a pretty extensive crater. We're seeing a very similar circumstance to the, to the ancient landscape in, in England as we see here in the United States. 